Welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing the performance testing of the new Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. So, we have the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. So, you can see here Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. And uh, this device comes with uh, Android 15 and uh, you get uh, the One UI 7.0 that's the latest version of uh, one ui you also get uh, seven years of android updates but we're not going to talk about that we are going to see how the performance on this device is so this is uh, powered by the snapdragon 8 elite and uh, you get uh, 12 gigabyte ram so we're going to do the performance testing we'll be uh, trying with the cpu throttling test uh, the stress test and then anti to benchmark uh, storage test and the geek bench test so let's see the temperature before starting the test so you can see here 34 degrees 33 degrees that's the kind of normal temperature you would see on any device so that's the temperature uh, now you can uh, see that uh, we are going to do start with uh, the cpu throttling test so this is the cpu throttling test uh, so you can see here 15 uh, minute test and uh, we'll uh, start the test so right now the battery percentage is 90 percentage so let's see how much drop happens and also the what is the temperature after the 15 minute test so let's start this So now you can see that uh, the performance uh, it's uh, uh, 67 percentage of its max performance uh, you can see here multiple times it throttled uh, initially it went fine but then after some time it started throttling 67 percentage 296 max value and 226 average value minimum value is 167 it went up to 40 degrees closer to 40 degrees i would say you can see here uh, closer to 40 degrees so that's the performance next let's uh, see the uh, stress test of this device and you can see here from 90 percentage the battery went down to 84 percentage so that's the drop 6 percentage drop with the cpu throttling test next let's do the stress test so now we are going to start the stress test so before that once again uh, the temperature it's uh, back to 34 degrees so now let's start uh, the wildlife extreme uh, stress test so it is a uh, 20 minute test uh, uh, it shows actually how the device performs under longer periods of heavy load like gaming and other extreme uh, stress so let's start this so you can see wildlife extreme uh, stress test so it's a 20 uh, loop test so we'll come back once the uh, testing is complete So now we have completed uh, the test and uh, you can see that the stability score is uh, 49 percentage, lowest loop score is 2936 and uh, the best loop score is 5991 and this performance test you can see here. Uh, after the first uh, loop itself the performance came down and then uh, it was uh, kind of mostly stable. Then you can see that the maximum temperature reach was around 45 degrees and uh, the battery re uh, temperature ranged from 34 degrees to 45 degrees and you can also see that uh, the battery drop was 83 percentage to 76 percentage so 7 percentage drop and the frame rate is 13 to 47 fps you can see the battery and other chart mentioned so the wildlife extreme uh, stress test uh, values are uh, uh, 49 percentage uh, for the s20 ultra so next is the anti to benchmark test so we have already performed the test and you can see the values here this is the anti to benchmark uh, test you can see here 22 lakh is the value slightly lower than the other snapdragon 8 le devices you can see here cpu uh, test uh, gpu memory score and the ux score and you can see here 22 lakh 69 thousand is the s25 ultra scope now if you look at the storage test you can see it's pretty good uh, ufs 4.0 and uh, 2,12,853 is the storage result and also finally let's see the Geekbench test so we also perform the Geekbench the single core score is uh, 2654 and the multi core score is 9192 that's really good score and uh, you can also see that all the details are mentioned here uh, the testing value so this is uh, the uh, single core value you can see here compared to S24 Ultra it is definitely higher and uh, you can also see other devices as well and the multi-core score uh, on the samsung s24 ultra was around 6000 now this is 9100 obviously the snapdragon 8 elite uh, is the latest processor so that will have always have an impact 
so that was the performance testing of the samsung galaxy s25 ultra hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day